This episode of Techno Buffalo is brought to you by Netflix. Welcome back to another episode of Rhett and Just Rants. It's the show where I rant and rave on anything from the world of technology and sometimes a little bit outside of it. Up this week, I want to talk about mobile payments. I was all jazzed up to get my BlackBerry Z10 with NFC enabled, and I saw that there's yet another form of mobile payments enabled on this guy, and it's pissing me off. Let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> So when NFC was first introduced and started becoming mainstream in phones, we were promised mobile payments. Now certainly mobile payments have been a very polarizing subject. For some, it seems like an awesome, incredible thing, no need to carry your wallet anymore, just carry your phone. For others, it seems like a security nightmare and potentially a way for a thief or criminal to totally empty your bank account. I probably lie somewhere in the middle, but I'm more on the tech side and really I just wanna try using mobile payments. So enter Google with Google Wallet, especially in the US, they said, hey, we are standardizing this. We're gonna make sure that the terminals that are already in existence can support Google Wallet. Go ahead and check out our Galaxy Nexus phone and get your payment on. And I was super excited and I tried to use it at one store. Didn't accept it. Tried to use it at another store. Didn't accept it. Tried to use it at a third store. Didn't accept it. Store after store after store that have these quick pass terminals were not accepting Google Wallet or it was turned off. Overwhelming the reason that I heard was people were scared. There's a ton of misinformation. People thought that if you walked by the terminal with the phone in your pocket, suddenly all your information would pop up. So we have not seen mobile payments take off and now it's gotten even worse. Now we've got mobile payment fragmentation. We've got Google Wallet, you've got the US carriers here with ISIS, you've got PayPal mobile transfers, you've got add a credit card, mobile payments, you've got a ton of different options. So it's really tough for any mobile payment system to take off until we can standardize one. Doesn't matter what it is, and there's still the big elephant in the room about what Apple's gonna do. There's been rumors that Apple's gonna introduce their own mobile payment system, and of course it's gonna throw another giant monkey wrench into the how do I pay with my phone business. And I know that's not unique to the US. I know a lot of the Asian countries, NFC and mobile payments are really uh, the most common way that people pay. You don't need to carry cash or coins anymore. You just carry your phone with, you usually have with you anyway. So I wanna see something get standardized, be it ISIS or be it a PayPal system or be it Google Wallet. Somehow, could we just get this standardized so we can find a way to pay, we can address security concerns, and we can try and move on to a modern era. I don't know why I feel so strongly about this, but I've always wanted to use my phone to pay, and perhaps it's just a geek in me and the cool factor, just being like, I just paid with my phone. I know in some cities, Google Wallet is accepted more than others. I've been in San Francisco and tried to pay in cabs, and it says Google Wallet enables, but it didn't work when I tried it, and I keep getting disappointed. Pointed. Do you guys agree or disagree? Do you care about mobile payments? Are you as worried as uh, some people are about security? Do you wish you could put a thumbprint on it, some sort of other biometrics, or just a pin code good enough for you? You're worried about people that might try and spoof your account number and try and discover your pin. Uh, I really want to hear what you guys have to say. I definitely feel you on the security concerns, uh, and I think that if I was going to use mobile payments as my regular mode of paying, there have to be some sort of extra level of security as to where I felt comfortable using it. We'll see what that's going to be, and hopefully that will get addressed as well uh, in the near future. Let me take a minute from the rant to thank our friends and sponsors at Netflix. Netflix streams TV shows and movies directly to your home, saving you time, money, and most importantly, the hassle. As a Netflix member, you can instantly watch TV episodes and movies streaming directly to your PC or Mac or right to your TV with your Xbox 360, PS3, or Nintendo Wii consoles. Watch as many movies as you want, anytime you want, cancel anytime. Go to netflix.com slash buffalo, give Netflix a shot, you'll love it, it's a great way to stream all your favorite movies and TV shows. So thank you guys for watching another episode of Rettinger's Rants. I'm your host, John Rettinger. We are back every week with a new episode coming out of my mind hole. I'll see you next video. Bye-bye.